Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria version 1.2 with me, Blue Ankylo. Now I uh, was actually planning on continuing my Blue Cloud campaign. Uh, I still have some recorded that might not be uploaded for you guys yet. But I was planning on recording some more today and uh, thank you Steam for not letting me not update Terraria. I actually had the option unselected but it forced the update anyway. So until T-Config is patched and things are sorted out, so I can either play on 1.1.2 with Blue Cloud, or sorry, Red Cloud, um, I can't. <laughs> so hopefully things work out. I don't want to leave that series completely off, but I thought, ah, why not? This thing looks cool. Let's, let's put out a couple episodes of 1.2. I'm sure some of you guys would like to see it. <laughs> now, I don't actually know hardly anything about this update. I have been keeping my eyes shut and my ears plugged so that I would be surprised by it. So uh, I would appreciate if the comment section did not spoil everything. Uh, maybe a little thing here or two is here or there is okay. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's just do it. We'll make a brand new character. We'll do it random. What's a cool looking guy? Let's be uh, at least a little bit blue. Come on, someone with a little bit of blue. That guy's got a blue shirt, purple hair. That's all right. And I think uh, I think I'm gonna stick with soft core again. I just I'm such a wuss. I'm definitely not doing hardcore, and medium core is like sort of Minecraft style, losing all your items. Just, uh, it's not for me, guys. It's just not for me. Anyway, that'll be fine. And we're going to be Blue Ankylo, of course. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this thing. We'll make a new world. We'll go large, of course. And we'll call it Let's Play. Oops, no caps. I have to, I have to type it all perfectly. Let's Play 1.2. Um, go, go, go. Ah, can I have two go-go's? Anyway, that'll do. So I'll bear with me a second while the world is created. See how long it takes with 1.2. I have heard there's lots of cool stuff, and I am quite excited to have a look through. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this will be a full Let's Play like I've done with Omniers and I did with Blue Cloud, where I basically record most of everything I do. Uh, it depends on just how much old stuff, I use air quotes there, uh, if I have to spend a long time mining iron and building stuff uh, like before, uh, I'll probably cut a lot of that out. But uh, if it's new, hey, new is good. Um, I quite like the new title screen backgrounds, actually. Lots of different uh, things to see there. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. And I figured, hey, I'm kind of in the Terraria mode this day, these days, so let's, let's play a little bit more with, with the new update. So I think we're almost there. <laughs> it's always a trick getting it to start the first time. So what do we get? All right. Um, my controls are completely backwards. Like literally not doing what I thought they would do at all. Okay, we're off to a great start. Um, like space bar makes me move right and D, which used to make me move right, makes me move left. Um... Okay, well, okay, uh, the button T makes me jump. That's not what I would have expected. Um, <laughs> escape does not close my... Uh, wow, okay, so there's been some changes. That's cool. What the heck was that? I'm gonna pick my sword up again. So, I does not do what I thought it would do. I have to say the button configuration is not good. <laughs> so far, we're off to a great start. F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F6, F7. F7 does that. That's cool. F8 does that. F9 shows you the frames per second or 10 or whatever. 11 does your uh, screenshot mode. Um, hey, I took a picture. Um, but I can't actually do anything. <laughs> like, I literally... Okay, tab moves the map around. That's cool. I do like that mini-map. I've complained in the past about not having a mini-map. So I'm quite happy about this. Can't uh, move it around or anything. But you can change its size. Okay, we start with a little bit of mana. We start with some life. Um, can still select my inventory, my hotbar like that. But I can't do anything. Okay, so what was that? H. H is opening my in my menu. That's good. So at least I can exit. <laughs> what the heck are these? That's like map stuff. Huh. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like big giant map mode once I've explored everything. Cool. That's that's good game. So 
We're off to uh, a slightly rough start. I have no idea how you're supposed to move or do anything here. I literally cannot figure out the buttons. Some button, okay, T makes me jump. I could uh, press, uh, what was it, I? Which one? Oh, spacebar, so I can move using T and spacebar. Awesome, let's go explore the world. <laughs> this is this is not a good way to play the game. Um, D makes me move left, so I can move left and right, and I can I can swing. All right, that's that's crazy. So it only took me a couple minutes to figure that out. Um, I'm gonna have to reset my controls. How the heck? No, no. Now I threw. <laughs> We're off to a great start here. So H, save and exit. Hold on, guys. And uh, I think I'll put a cut here while I try to reset the controllers. I actually was going to show you. There's a couple new things here. Um, video. I think there's something new here. Maybe not there. I thought I saw some new stuff. Map controls. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Autosave. I hope this works better than before because I've definitely had problems with autosave not saving and sort of messing up my game before. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time sorting out these re this is not the buttons I have uh, definitely not throw us anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here and I'll be back in a sec all right folks I think that looks a little bit better right that's the normal WASD sort of controls I think <laughs> all right so um, back to the game <laughs> you're getting it all with me here it's 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 uh first shot here I didn't even do a test video I'm hoping I got the volume correct again like the old days I'm actually playing at 1080p for a change, so we'll see how that goes. Ah, much, much better. Okay, so let's go have a look at the world. First thing, you can move uh, up one high slopes. I've heard about that in notes before, so that's cool. Hey there, Mr. Guide, what you got for me? Probably the same as always, just for now. I mean, I'm gonna kind of miss not having mods. Oh, escape does not get me out of here anymore? I have, do I really have to press I? Oh, maybe I did it wrong. Oh shoot, oh well. I seems to work for in and out. Oh well. I usually, I'm, I generally don't change the default controls, so I have no idea sort of what I'm doing. So yeah, let's just go look around. I mean, I wasn't exactly planning on doing the, the basic stuff, like, you know, chopping down trees, but it looks kind of nice. Like, the sun looks nice up there. That feels like I got a lot less wood than normal. Maybe the, the ingredients are less. No, 31's about right. Maybe it just doesn't fly around as much as it used to. Yeah, each piece of wood is probably more than it used to be. That's cool. We'll see if I can figure out some of the, some of the changes just from playing along. You know, why not? Let's let's just do it. I I don't know. We'll, I wasn't planning on doing a full let's play, but who knows? Maybe it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, I'll just cut down a couple more trees here. You know, chopping trees with me, Blue Ankylo, playing 1.2. I think what I'll do next is go look down a, a hole and see if I can find some uh, some new stuff. Let's go down this way. I have no idea, like, I don't have torches or anything, that's not very good either, actually. I have absolutely no way to see in the dark. And it's very, very dark down here. Okay, so that's a bad idea. I'd like to go exploring, but I guess I should be smart about it. Alright. Actually, I really like these, uh, walking up one high blocks now thing. That's... That's a good idea. Oh, ah, uh, enemies! They have, like, a health bar now. I think. Yeah, there you go. Little health bar. Cool. So that's all right. I don't mind that. There's lots of little like clumps of stuff on the surface that you can break, I guess. Doesn't seem to do much. That's cool. Lots of little flowers, background stuff, more pots. Cool. I'm actually, I'm digging it, guys. I am digging it. All right, blue slime, bring it on. We've killed many of your kind in the past in the 1.1 Terraria, and also the far or earlier ones. All right, we got ourselves an egglet. Oh, this is different. We've got dye, social equipment. Okay, things are a little bit different there too. Shine potions, I could explore a cave now. Oh, and my inventory is bigger. Did you guys notice that? I got an extra row, 10 more slots, awesome. I think the chest is not lined up perfectly. Like there's a little bit of a sort of maybe graphic gooey stuff that's not perfectly lined up. But I think that's a little bit bigger. Wasn't it Wasn't it only three before? That will help me for all my uh, OCD stockpiling problems. <laughs> all right. Okay, killing slimes. Flawless victory. Blue kills another slime without getting hit. It's amazing. 
Oh, another chest too. Awesome. This one's got uh, glow sticks. It's got lots of good stuff. Bam, let's do it. Okay, escape not working is driving me crazy. Well, now that I've got some shine potions, I could probably go down that tunnel actually. Kill, kill, kill. I hate this sword. I absolutely hate short swords. They are the worst. We're gonna, I should almost, I should almost spend the time to dig some copper and stuff out just to get a copper long sword or whatever they call it. But yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like, I've been playing sort of modified versions of Treya for so long. I haven't played vanilla in ages. I'm used to like Omniers and Metroids and you know, all those kinds of cool stuff. Um, so this is like, it's vanilla, but it's still new. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, the way these glow sticks work is they sort of stick there for a while. And if I come back in a couple of minutes, I can actually pick them up, but I don't care too much. I'll just burn through some glow sticks. It's fine. Jump. Oh, I'm never going to make that jump. That's a bit much. So this is kind of a neat cave. I think uh, the water has settled it a little differently than I'm used to. It's more um, natural looking. They must have changed the... Um, the cave mechanic a little bit. It definitely looks more like natural, kind of curvy. That's cool. Maybe it is also, I bet you there's some logic to make sure you can actually make the jumps a little bit easier now, instead of having like the occasional jump that you just can't do without making platforms. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some stuff like that just to make it easier. Also these half blocks, that's gonna be tricky. Get used to stuff like that. All right, get out of here, bunny. So that was kind of a boring cave, I gotta say. The cave to the right with the glow sticks was actually better. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick look to the left. And if I don't find anything too exciting, I'll put a cut, chop some trees down and build a basic house, I think. Cause you guys have definitely seen people do that before. And then we can go exploring, I think. Nothing really exciting in there. I wouldn't mind going left or right far enough that I can see like the next biome actually would be cool. Oh come on, stupid sword. This sword is horrible. <laughs> Can't hit anything. Oh look, we got that little waterfall effect. Awesome. I quite like that. Very cool looking guys. I am happy to see new stuff. Alright, we've got like backdrops, new trees. Alright, I'm never going to be able to get back up there but... Okay, that's different. I've never seen that stuff before. What do you guys think? Should I go down the cave? Or should I go see... It's corruption, I think. What is this thing? Uh, this is not a good enemy for me to be fighting. Cremera. <laughs> um, well, I could kill it eventually if it's really stupid. It looks like a flying scorpion or something. Uh, I'm, and then that's a new enemy over there. Face monster. Okay, well, I found an area to the left that's going to kill me. I'd like to kill this guy first if I'm really lucky. Nope, not even close. Well, I got into two. Okay, so going to the left, looks like that, is that like new ore over there? New music anyway. Looks cool, but we're obviously not ready for it <laughs> with the stupid copper sword. So okay, what I'll do then, uh, just to make a little bit of progress here without having to record every second, is I will do some surface digging. I'll dig up some stone and some copper and I will build a house, probably right here actually. This looks like a nice place for our first house. I'm really tired of always building the same basic houses. So I'm gonna take a small break to think of something that might look different if I can hope, if I can get lucky. Or maybe we'll do like an underground house or something, I don't know. I'd like to do something different for once. Everyone always builds like a wood cabin to start out. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys back in a minute. Hey folks, so it's the first night and uh, I just figured I'd drop in while I'm dying here. Um, They've kind of changed how dark it is, so I feel like I'm going to have to put more torches down than usual in this uh, in this version, I think. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it looks on YouTube later on, but I kind of got the feeling that it's darker than it used to be. Um, and also stupidly hard, I, I hate, ever since we got to like 1.1 or whatever the update was that made you start so weak, it just drives me bonkers this early mode. I can't. I can barely kill a zombie because I do one damage per hit right now. And I didn't make a house yet because I didn't have enough time. So uh, yeah, that stuff's kind of annoying. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you how it looks at night. Uh, I'm going to spend a bit more time digging and tr try to make my house. But as always, it takes forever. Can I like talk to it? 
Oh, that's my... <laughs> that's where I died. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's it's going to be a really long, long night of getting killed by zombies, I think. Because I don't think there's any way to switch the time to daylight in vanilla. <laughs> uh... Always making the game harder. So much fun. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back in the daylight when you can see stuff. And I won't die every few seconds. So, see you guys in a bit. Oh, thank heaven, it's dawn again. That was probably my least fun night I've ever had in Terraria. My first night was just ridiculous. I know I should have been a bit quicker with making my house and stuff, but wow. I just wanted to explore around a little bit when I started the game up, and psh. Nighttime is not very cool when you're just starting off, I gotta say. Zombies, when you can do one damage to them, are pretty much impossible to kill when there's six or seven of them mobbing you. Anyway, you drop these cool new uh, sort of tombstone things. They're kind of cool. Um, they're not all just normal tombstones anymore, basically. So that's kind of nice. I like that. Definitely lots of new stuff to look at that's cool. Um, I just wish I'd had a nice easy start so that I was already done my house by now. <laughs> I decided I was going to do an underground house, which is fun, but takes a lot longer because I have to dig stuff out. Um, in fact, I kind of messed that up again. So because it takes a while to do, I will I will definitely do most of this off camera to do my underground house. I think that's high enough. Yeah, that'll that'll look pretty good. I'll have to take the dirt off the back at some point, or I think you can cover it up with wooden planks, I believe. So I got some plans, um, and I think just by having, if I had just gotten this far, I could have made uh, my basic <laughs> setup and had a wall and stuff. Um, <laughs> there, I can make my bench. All right, I, I have auto pause on now, so I have to do it all slow pokey. There we go. Now I can craft more stuff. And there's definitely lots of new recipes. I saw this here, uh, star in a bottle. That's new for sure. Um, you can make just your arrows. I don't think you could make those before. They're def they're probably not as good as they used to be or something. Um, campfire increases life regen when you're next to it. Rope. I actually have some of that. That looks cool. Um, I'm looking forward to making rope ladders and stuff. Uh, what else can I make? Anything else exciting? Hmm, wooden fence is new. Wooden armor? Cool. <laughs> One defense. It's not very good. Um, but yeah, there you go. Basic stuff. Uh, i got to have a furnace, of course. Not that I have enough room. Anyway, I'll finish digging out a house, make a room or two for a couple NPCs, and then I will see you guys again, and we'll do some exploring. It's raining! Awesome! totally awesome. So I'm just busy building my first room and it's taking forever of course as happens when you build underground but it just started to rain and I thought hey that looks awesome let's let's start it up. So you can see me doing things. Um, there's a couple changes to like how the game plays now. Oh flying fish. Well that's cool let's go kill it or at least try to kill it. We'll die trying. Hello, flying fish. I think we're going to eat you for dinner. Come here, flying fish. I should be, I should really make a bow. I really need a bow. Oh, come here. Come here, you. There we go. Well, all he gave me was money. Silly fish. Anyway, uh, my house is coming along, you know. It's coming along. So, yeah, instead of uh, being able to use the left shift sort of auto select to build a... Uh, to, to select your hammer, basically... You have to manually select it in the hotbar now. Oh look! The little slime has an umbrella! Oh, that's awesome! You wouldn't want to get wet there, little slimy. <laughs> awesome! Well, I'm glad, I, I'm glad I got that on camera. <laughs> umbrella slime! Think your dinner maybe then instead. Oh, this weapon is sucks. Two damage. What if I could kill it with like my pickaxe instead? Hammer. Hammer is no good. Pickaxe, five damage, just five damage, five damage, no big deal. Why have I not made a new weapon yet, guys? Why have I not made a new weapon? Let's let's do it in here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can make some stuff. I've got ten iron. I can make an iron sword. Let's make an iron broadsword. Well, that should make things much easier. I was just busy trying to build my house up rather than make weapons. There we go. Nice. Much, much easier. Alright. That should solve some of my problems. Time for you um, to die, Umbrella Slime. Awesome. So we got some new enemies. Flying fish. like the rain, actually. I really like the rain. 
Did I build my house correctly? Can I move a guide in there? Oh, he already moved in there. Of course he can. All right, so there we go. I think I will change the walls at some point. Uh, so they are, oops. Uh, so they are not dirt, basically. The background's good, but I want different wall, you know, platforms. But it's a nice little house. Um, inventory, right. You can make mana crystals out of five stars now. Much easier to get mana. So I figured I'd show you that. Also, it's nighttime already. That's horrible. I haven't had any time. Um, I think I've got a couple chests I was going to put down, and I can start saving stuff. These are just those first chests I picked up, like, right at the beginning. So I'll just use those to store some stuff. I definitely, I'm digging, actually, the chest is way bigger. It used to be, like, 5x3, I think. 5x3 or 5x4, maybe. 5x4, yeah. Now it's 5, 10 by 4 Yeah, so it's way bigger. I like it. Good job, whoever thought of that. Um, so let's quickly stash some stuff away here. Everyone's favorite. Got some torches. Got a spare sword. Got some rope. We'll see what we can do with that later. What I want to do is head towards the right. An obelisk. I don't even know where I got that. That Maybe that was where I died. Yeah, I think that's one of the ones that you get when you die. Alright. Okay, mostly sorted out here. I think we're good. So yeah, I wanted to go for a little bit of an exploration. And jump right onto that guy. That's what I meant to do. I was hoping it'd be uh, daytime for this, but ah, it's alright. We got some rain, we got a little bit of a house. We got a house started. We got a proper sword now. I think we'll be okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's make some platforms here. Should be able to work my way up. Maybe like this. And dig that up. Good. Hey look! It's a goldfish that can walk in the rain! Kill it! Die, goldfish! <laughs> awesome! Walking goldfish? <laughs> I love it. All right, well, that makes up for some of my first night being horrible. Getting some goldfish and some flying fish. Rain is awesome. <laughs> totally awesome. <laughs> goldfish. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Very cool. I need a little bit more iron. Lots of stuff to build. So let's head to the right. Hopefully I don't get stuck by, like, some sort of corrupted type tile so quickly. Because last... When I went left, I ran out of, I ran out of room really quickly. All right, umbrella slimes. <laughs> umbrella slimes and goldfish walking in the rain. I gotta say. Oh, I thought he was gonna drop his umbrella. That would have been nice. All right. Uh, I what was I gonna say? Something. Oh god, desert at least. Oh, where I live, yeah. Sometimes it rains as much as you'd expect fish to be walking on the sidewalk, actually. So, okay, the desert. It's raining in the desert. It looks like there's a floating island right above me. Or something. Interesting. Oh, no, I, that's just... Mm, right, that's just the edge of my vision. No problem. I was thinking that'd be cool if I could find uh, floating islands that easily. Yeah, they're just how far your screen goes. So let's do some more exploring here. Kill a vulture, you know, that's, that's normal stuff. Nothing special there. I missed my Hermes shoes already. I gotta find some of those. Vultures. Sounds like there's like lightning in the background too. That'd be awesome. If I found some lightning, lightning strikes. So far I'm definitely enjoying 1.2. I uh, wish the nighttime Hadn't been so brutal for me the first night, but uh, I guess if I had rushed the sword quicker, I would have done a lot better. I took my time making my sword, so. Hey, now. I actually can't walk through this tree. It's a tree you have to mine. Now, that is cool. Oh, I should totally have made, like, a tree house. Okay, we'll have to make a tree house later, guys. That's awesome. Is it, does that count as different wood, or is it just normal wood? Looks like normal wood. Hmm, interesting. Alright. I know there's a bit of iron back there, whatever. I don't feel like doing iron right now. Uh, we'll make a bridge. Oh, sure, the, the flying fish comes to kill me instead. There we go. Okay, bridge time. 
Awesome. Copper. I don't really care about copper too much. We'll just, we'll just keep heading right for a little bit. Why not? Looking for new stuff. Yeah, vultures aren't bad. I think actually making this sword was the smartest thing. Ah, I'm stuck. I guess uh, I will need some sand for some things. So, um, do I want to go over or under? Let's go under. Oh dear, that was gonna hurt. That was, that was a little bit too far. All right. Well, maybe it's not under. Maybe this is a cave. Let's go exploring down the cave. It's a dead end. Of course, it's a dead end. Should I uh, pick up some copper while I'm here? I guess. I don't know. I, I guess, you know, I could make copper armor or something. It would be better than nothing. But, uh... I generally end up skipping a lot of copper. Oh, right, by the way, did you know you could put torches in the background like that? So, uh, that's kind of cool. I thought that was nice. Definitely not going to be able to make this jump. Torch plus platform. There we go. I know a trick or two. I've been playing Troy for a while. I'm hoping this would connect up, basically. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that wish, though. Get torch. Doesn't look like it's going to connect up unless I uh, dig my way through, so. Oh well, no big deal. It would be nice, but. The little half blocks are a little bit confusing. Um, like, sometimes you can't quite walk where you thought you could. So that's a little bit weird, but it's no big. It's no big deal. All right. So night number two. Now, I didn't record much of the first night. For one, it was very dark, and for two, well, I died mostly. So, but I'll pick up a tree or two while I'm here in the deep tree area. Um, I guess at the very least, I could make some wood armor. <laughs> I can't imagine wood armor being very good unless you're some sort of stinking elf. So, there's definitely lots more um, varieties of. Uh, uh, zombies now. Like, this one's got a raincoat on. Awesome. He doesn't seem much tougher than the average zombie, but... There we go. Now that I got my iron sword, those guys aren't so bad. I'll try to remember to put lots of torches down. It definitely feels like the game is darker now um, than it was in the previous version. Could be wrong, but feels that way to me. So I'll try to remember to put a couple extra torches for you guys. So you can see what Blue's doing. With all the raincoat zombies. One of them should drop me a raincoat so I can stop getting poured on. We must be soaked by now. How long have we been standing out in the rain here? <laughs> Alright, that's a couple trees. That's good enough for now. Alright, you guys. They were out of the rain there. They were in a little cave. They were smart. Trying to stay dry. Smart zombies. Alright. Lots of stuff to smash. Good old smashy smashy. That's kind of cool. I like that little background tile for uh, sort of grassy background, whatever it's called. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going to the right. Why not? It's the middle of the night. It's raining. What could go wrong? I should put a couple torches down. Okay. This place. Very, very dark. I, I actually left my shine potions back at home. Might not have been the smartest thing I ever did. Oh yeah, you can put them on the background. That is awesome. Oh, that make, that'll make make exploring so much easier, being able to just do that. I hope you can do that always. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's a good idea for sure. Okay, there's some cobweb. I actually will need some of this stuff so that I can make myself a bed. All right. Yeah, let's try to get at least one downward cave before uh, the end of this episode. Totally good. Uh, blowpipe. I don't really like blowpipes, to be honest. I'm actually going to just throw it out. And then the rest of the stuff I will keep. Including the chest. Why waste good iron building a chest when you can just, uh, you know, do that? Uh, there's some iron there. Might as well pick it up. It's not like I've seen any silver or anything anyway. I have heard that there's some other ores now. There's a few new ones. Um, I haven't really heard what they are. I just had a very, very small look at the patch notes. Oh, can I not? I can't put it on this background, unfortunately. So you can only put the torches on the uh, the uh, 
top level black ground, I guess that's what you might call it. Oh well, it would have been cool if you could put that all over the place, but the walls will work. Also, look at that parallax on the background. Crazy! Parallax is like background scrolling at different rate than foreground scrolling or something like that. Teal mushroom. Oh, we're on. so much new stuff. I guess I'm not gonna. Mu oh no, is this underground jungle? This almost looks like it could be underground jungle. Underground jungle would be a bad idea right now, I think. I think this is underground jungle. I recognize that music. Hmm. Well, I'll take the iron. Kind of surprised I haven't seen any silver yet, actually. They may have changed it so silver is, like, actually harder to find further down or something. I like to make, uh, I almost always end up making, like, a silver lo a silver broadsword, actually. And that lasts me until I get, like, the knight's edge or something. I try to make a gold pickaxe if I can. It's my usual way of doing things, anyway. Also need some more hearts, obviously, and that'd be nice. Just picking up some iron. Yeah, I won't be recording a whole lot of mining problems. <laughs> I don't know. Who likes watching mining wars? Oh, that is silver down there. Oh, there's a worm. Come on, worm. Yeah, no big deal, no big deal. What you got? But I will take the silver. That stuff's... Like I said, I'd like to make a silver broadsword if I can. They're pretty solid. Pretty solid. I should have made a bow. I forgot about that, actually. I could have made, like, a... At least a wood bow or something. Alright. Don't care too much about picking up copper already. I, I mean, I could make some copper armor, like I said, but... I don't know. I don't bother. Alright, we're doing, we're doing fine here. Let's keep going. Yeah, so that looks like jungle. Uh, what I'd like to find, ultimately, would be a couple chests, actually. Underground little waterfalls. Cool. That's really nice, actually. I like that. Definitely like that. Oh, look! Heart! Also, yeah, you can use your pickaxe for almost everything now. You don't actually need to use the hammer for so much stuff. Uh, the hammer, I think, is just about only for background tiles, as far as I've seen so far. So that's cool. A couple changes like that, just... Making it a little bit easier so you don't have to carry around so much. Uh, I don't need to carry around a hammer, an axe, and a pickaxe. I only need the axe for trees. I only need the hammers for the house stuff. That's, that's probably a good idea. Anyway, we got our first heart. It's always a good first episode of Terraria when you can get a heart on it. I think. So this looks like maybe... Oh, ho, ho, a boulder trap! Almost got me, game. Good try. Nice try. Anyway, yeah, this is going into the... This is definitely going for... No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Throw one of those down there. There's a heart over that. That's what changed my mind here. Um, shoot. I'm going to die. Oh, shoot. A trap. I'm, I'm going to drown. Quick. Let's see if this trick still works. It still works. Thank goodness. <laughs> You guys all knew this trick, right? <laughs> Alright, I gotta get out of here. There's a heart over that. The only reason I even came here at all is because I want to get that heart. Alright. There we go. I thought I could make that jump. Okay, I think I think in the jungle can I... Yeah, I can put stuff on the background here. That's what happened. Alright, got my heart. Get out. I really don't want to be doing underground jungle. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Blue. Jump right down the hole. And then get hit by a poison arrow. Okay, got the worm. I still can't quite see. Yeah, there's a couple platforms here. They're just really hard to see. Alright, good. Let's get out of there. We don't want to do jungles right now. <laughs> I'm barely strong enough to do, like, normal normal dungeon. More, normal caves. <laughs> that scrolling background, that's tripping me out. Wow. Oh, is it really a dead end? That's not fair. Totally not fair. I wonder if I can get up here. Make a little pillar, run out of stuff. There's nothing up here anyway. Well, that's a darn shame. I really don't want to be doing, like, jungle stuff right now. Well, I don't know. I guess that's okay for a first episode. I got a couple hearts. Explored a little bit. 
I might uh, off camera spend a bit of time uh, building my house a little bit better. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. I uh, I might spend a little bit more time down here looking for some iron and stuff. But then I'll meet you guys back at my house next episode, and hopefully it'll look a little bit better. So there, starting 1.2. Um, you know, we got a bit of a start. Certainly tons more. Well, that's a good trick. <laughs> Somehow I was walking behind the uh, behind the, um, the the mud that I put down. No, oh, I'm not going to make that jump. Um, whatever. I'll figure a way out of here eventually. Probably not too hard. There we go. All right, so thanks for watching, folks. Is that a... a okay, one more thing. So I'm going to go see if that's something down there or not. Okay. I thought I saw... It is a chest. Okay. We found water walking boots. Oh, well, that sounds very good, actually. I will take those. I will definitely take those. So it goes in the equipment? I actually, I've clicked it, but it's not letting me do anything with it. Like, I literally can't... Okay, that's very strange. I wonder if that's a bug. Because I found the new boots, which sounds awesome. I'm glad I saw that. I'm sure one of you guys saw it on my way down, of course. A water chest, eh? Alright, well, I need to figure out how to equip that thing. Because uh, right-clicking worked. Well, that was good. Because left-clicking was not working for me earlier. Now it is working. Anyway, awesome. So now I can walk on water. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, good good day. All right, so I'm just going to spend a bit of time mining, and I'll, I'll meet you guys back at my house next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the beginning of 1.2. I'm having a good time. See you later.